Hey, Al. Okay. Let's go through. I tried to I tried to post a demo on this yesterday and it got blocked. So I'm just gonna do the lesson instead. to that to play this one. So you're in D. The second one, I don't know what it is, but when I remember as a teenager, I don't know, 13, 14 years old, me and my older brother were up in the bedroom trying to figure out how to play this. And, you know, the D chord is easy. And when we finally hit on that, that was like mind blowing to get that. Let's get that second chord. It sounded so exotic. So it's D. That's open A, D at the second, open G, and then B and E at three. It's that same. That song remains the same chord, right? Then you walk up the A string, zero, two, three. D at two, G open, B and E at three, and you want to go. Pluck A, D, and then the second one is, is a G without the low G note. And then the same plucking. probably do it like this. Instead of hitting, I would hit, I'd hit the G string open, or the D and G both. That gives it a little bit longer to, to go up there, instead of having, that's hard to get. Right? Now one thing that's important is when you do this, don't do any more than the B, B and E strings. If you get the G in there, you're hitting a minor chord, so it'll sound like this. You don't want that G string in there. You just want those two. You're going to have the G string open if you want, or you can just hit those two. But don't fret the G string. The second time it goes... Then for the guitar. 
guitar solo, it's still doing this part. You could get away with just doing D major pentatonic there. And then coming out of the solo, it'll go back into... Don't do what I just... Don't hit that G string. goes D, up to F, just slide it from 2, I, and 7. You can hit the D string open for all those. So that goes G, it's a C. That's uh, G at 9, B and E at 8, and then the same thing up here at 11 and 10. Change with the seasons and the melody. so that's A minor, F major 7, and then up 2 for G, G, that's just a G. Again. It's the end of the song. 